happy Sunday. It is dark and gloomy. So I got the fireplace on, having a little cozy lay in because I had a headache this morning. So I took an Excedrin and I feel so much better. So that's great. But I just wanted to hop on and say, I'm watching this documentary <laughs> on HBO. It's called Love Has One. Oh my God. <laughs> what am I watching? <laughs> I'm only at the beginning of the second episode right now, but this is crazy. Have you seen it? Let me know. Leave it down below. Okay, as I mentioned, today is beauty day. So I'm going to start with some hair removal. I'm going to use this sugar wax kit. At first, I was going to make my own, but then I realized I had this. So I'm just going to use this. It comes with a lot of strips and they're washable and reusable, which is great. And they're large, so I'm going to literally wax my entire body. <laughs> I want to be naked mole rat status, okay? And then here's the actual wax. It's just basically water, sugar, lemon juice. Um, this is, you know, what sugar wax is made of. So gosh, I'm sorry, I'm out of breath. So I'm gonna work on this and let you know kind of what I thought about this kit, the Parissa kit. I also wanted to mention, I did exfoliate last night while I was in the shower and um, I'm gonna use some baby powder as well. I'm not going to show you my face because I have my hair in some braids, kind of um, air drying a little bit before I blow dry it. Okay, so I'm getting ready to do my hair. I have a bunch of stuff laid out for the trip right there. And while I do it, I'm going to do some like mermaid goddess braids, by the way. Hopefully it comes out how I'm envisioning. But I'm going to also review these Shine and Jam Magic Fingers for Braiders by Stasha Herrick's products. So there's three of them. <clears throat> This is the like pomade shiny jam stuff, the setting mousse, and then I also have the oil sheen. So I'm going to try these products out while I'm braiding today. Smells like equal parts sweet, like fruity, and chemically. <laughs> but they're um, this and this don't really cost a lot. I think each was like maybe six or seven dollars, but the actual jam. It's pretty pricey. This is $25. They do have smaller ones where you can test it out that are cheaper, but the largest quantity um, where I was able to find it is about 25 bucks. One of the girls in my natural hair program recommended this. She is pretty much only a braider for the most part or twist, you know, twists, etc. So she said this is the best and she uses this, but she goes through a tube of this like every few days. So I was like, oh dang, girl. So anyway, that's how I got this product I'm gonna review it and let's get started I'll probably just go ahead and start now tell you what I think and show you when I get a little closer to the front what I'm doing but I'm gonna make them big and try to finish this as soon as possible <laughs> okay we are halfway done and this is what it's looking like I'm so happy with it I mean you gotta stick with me for the vision like it's gonna be curled I'm gonna roll it tonight with some foam and I feel like in the morning it's gonna be so so cute so um yeah it's looking like it's just looking exactly how i like in terms of this product so i think it's working well for sure i just wish it was a teeny eensy weensy hair bit more viscous like thicker you know what i mean so but besides that it's working well and I, what i do like about products like this or lines like this is that it's like a one-stop shop you know you can get everything you need for your braids products are meant to work best together and so I like that of course you don't need to do this but it's just nice to be able to do it now I'm trying to figure out I finished the entire back I'm trying to figure out what I have it kind of sectioned off like how I want but I'm like am I gonna do two rows each eight rows probably that's probably what I shall do I don't care about my parts being super duper perfect because one, um, they're kind of boho style. So I want them to look boho style. And two, like it, since there's loose hair in here, you, I mean, it's just harder to see the parts. So we're gonna get to going. Is this the equal? No, this definitely has more. And this is really easy. I'm just gonna show you a couple of these and then keep going. So when I braid on myself, I use the rubber band method because it's just easier. If I was doing this on somebody else, I wouldn't. But I don't have time to be like messing around trying to like start the braid perfectly because I just don't need to do that. 
So I'm putting a little bit of, I focus the product on the roots and the ends just because I feel like that's where it needs the most. Okay, I've got these break free rubber bands and um, you want to get it in the center of this part because it's going to give you the most free range of motion and it will look the best. So I usually just prep the sections for each row. Again, I don't care, like, it doesn't all matter all that much to me that their parts are perfectly straight. And then around your hairline, definitely be more gentle and, um, you know, do the test, make sure it's not too tight. So I have a threader here. Another thing I wanted to mention is make sure when you're parting and you're getting ready to braid, you have no, you know, hairs that would get caught in your parts and all that because that is what can cause breakage. So let's keep an eye on that. Did my piece go? There we go. Okay. You just make sure that this is even. And then I have my little goddess hair here. Stick it in my mouth. Not, not sanitary. Wouldn't do this, of course, if I was doing it on someone else. Then I secure it. I secure it on the end with a little rubber band, another rubber band, I mean. And I just braid uh, just past where my hair ends. Make sure to get any extra little hairs off. And yeah, this is just what I was going for. I wanted to look more glam a little bit more hair like instead of just braids not that there's anything wrong with it but you know just going for something a little different so yeah that's basically it
okay? <laughs> this is a funny look, but I'm gonna go about my business, edit my video, shower, come back and see if it has a, you know, little bit of a curl before I go to bed and finish my review on the products. All right, so that was a whole lot of nothing. I don't even know if that was even in for an hour. So I'm gonna have to try again tomorrow on that one, but we're still going to see what the finishing sheen is talking about. So this is just a shine spray, of course. We're gonna spread some on and see what's popping. doesn't smell all that good I'll tell you that much the little sheen definitely doesn't smell very good but overall like I love a good one-stop shop you know what I mean where you can just get all the things you need for your braiding together with the jam so we love that. And I think overall, they seem to work really, really well. The only thing I don't love are the scents and also the cost of this. I think this is pretty high. I mean, the sheen and the foam seem very regular to me. This seems very expensive. And I do wish it was a hair, just a smidgen thicker. But besides that, I think it worked well. But anyway, <laughs> thank you so much for watching. I will catch you guys tomorrow, hopefully with a little bit of bend and a little curl. I could have added curly hair in here, but I wanted it to all be like pretty cohesive, you know? I don't know. Maybe I'll just do that next time. We'll see. <laughs> but catch on the flip side. Thanks for watching. Bye. Oh, oh my gosh. One last thing. This is completely unrelated to the other products, but I love spraying this right after I get braids done. Um, the It's Natural Rosemary Stimulating Spray. This is by Influence. This is like my favorite product by them and literally one of my favorite hair products ever. It's like multi-use. It's refreshing. It's a good anti-itch spray. It's a good pre-wash treatment. It's a good leave-in treatment. It's a good stimulating product. I mean, like, what can't this thing do? Okay? I'm freaking obsessed with it. I just love the way it smells. I love the way it feels. I always have some on hand because it's just, it's that good. And that's all I gotta say about it. This is a... a professional line but now that I'm licensed you can buy it through me <laughs> if you want to so it's so good everyone who I use it on have used it on just loves it it's Okay, okay, okay. So I did hot water set it and it's so pretty. The only reason why I didn't want to do that is because right here. The only reason why I didn't want to do that is because since they're like, you know, kind of close to my hair, I didn't want to risk like getting that hot water on my hair. But I was just really careful. <laughs> And I'm going to need to hot water set all these little pieces. So I'm going to have to roll these and dip these. I'll probably do that tomorrow. And it'll really give me that va va voom thing that I'm looking for. But it's so pretty. I love it. With the flexi rods. Like, yes. Okay. So anyway. I don't know if you can see the sheen from the oil sheen. But I can see it. <laughs> but anyway, thank you very much for your time. I am ready for vacay. I'm going to do my edges up and all that type of stuff. But for the most part, I'm ready and hot roller set the, the little small pieces. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, thank you very much for watching this chaotic review slash hairstyle slash whatever. <laughs> I appreciate it and I'll see you tomorrow.